In this video tutorial, we're going to look at one way of preparing images for a, a web gallery um, using Adobe Bridge. Um, and so, uh, to begin with, we're um, in Dreamweaver here, but I'm going to hide Dreamweaver and um, make sure that I have uh, a folder with the images that I um, want for my um, web gallery already located and prepared. Um, and when I say prepared, if you're going to be using Adobe Bridge, you really don't have to do much more than just locate your images, and I would suggest that you number them or label them in some way um, uh, so that there's some order to them. But as you can see in this list of images that I've, I have here, um, if you look at the dimensions of them, uh, some are small and some are large, and I'm counting on Adobe Bridge to handle that for me and prepare a web gallery that I can use on my website. Um, just before we go into this procedure, um, I, I'm, I'm going to uh, sort of give a disclaimer right up front here that um, Bridge makes the creation of a, a web gallery or an image gallery very very easy um, but in doing so um, its main preference um, or at least the best feature that it has uh, is that it creates a gallery using uh, Adobe Flash um, and Adobe Flash will not work on all mobile devices it'll work pretty much on all desktop systems but be aware of the fact that if you use the Flash Gallery uh, creation tool that I'm about to show you, um, that it may not work on um, particularly iOS devices, including iPhones and iPads. Um, so, that being said, uh, let's go ahead here and create a gallery. So I've got a folder with a variety of images in here. I'm going to close that. I'm going to locate Adobe Bridge um, on my computer and this will work on your PC from the start menu or from um, your uh, uh, 8.1 tiles interface uh, uh, or just go down to the dock on the Mac and select BR for bridge Adobe Bridge um, it is also a software component um, part of the um, Creative Suites and so from Bridge, um, we've got, uh, we sort of work left to right here. You choose um, from your folders area, you can locate um, the desktop on your computer. And I have my folder with images uh, there right on the desktop. So I simply collect, uh, select, sorry, that folder. Um, and down the bottom, I should see all of the images that I um, um, I have in that folder. And then um, in Bridge, you can just simply choose the images that you want to put into your gallery. So I'm going to click on this one. I'm going to hold my command key down, um, or you would hold a control key on a PC to select multiple images, and I'll choose these four images for my gallery um, from from all of the images in the image folder then I go to output and make sure for on the right hand side if you've got essentials selected you want to switch to output um, and we want to go to output um, in bridge and we want to choose not PDF output but we want to choose web gallery output and the template um, I'm showing you today is Lightroom Flash uh, Flash Gallery, um, and I'm going to choose that. Uh, I'll leave it set as custom, um, and I can go ahead and click Preview in browser so that it shows me what this is going to look like before I proceed. Even and you can see here, this is what this little ga gallery looks like, and it's really very nice and functional nice way of setting up your gallery and notice it takes care of the image sizes there's a slide player down the bottom and um, uh, and it shows whatever the name of that image file is there so 
that looks fine. Um, notice there's also, it's got a link um, to my home page here, and you'll, I'll show you how we can change that uh, here in a minute, so it takes us right back to our index home page as well. So I'm going to um, quit out of Safari, just close out of there. Please feel free to experiment with different um, types of galleries uh, from the list of options here. They're not all Flash, but really the most functional ones are Flash-based. Um, then you go down and you give the site a title. So I'm going to call it David's Gallery. Um, the collection, so this is my site title. Um, the collection title, uh, some pics from the past is the name of this gallery. Whoops. And collection description, um, sure, uh, some photos of mine. Um, contact info, uh, Dave's homepage. So that's actually really fine. Um, I'm going to leave that to uh, the link saying Dave's homepage. But instead of um, it going to this web address or email address, I'm going to have it go to my home page on the SIM server that we're using for this course. So the full path, you need to put the full path in here. And this way, if you move your gallery folder around anywhere on your website, it'll still locate your home page because um, we're going to give this a universal URL uh, or the full URL which will take us all the way back um, to our home page. And that address for me, um, at least, is going to be sim.colum.edu. Remember that's our server. The directory is IAM. Um, the uh, subdirectory is uh, WD. And then my root folder directory uh, or root directory is NOFS. You will substitute my name for your last name here. Any copyright info if you want to put in is fine. You can change the palette uh, text here. Scroll bar is a little hard to find, but it is over there. And if you scroll down, you can see there's different slideshow size, gallery image size, all sorts of controls that you can add. And then um, down where it says create gallery, um, you can give the gallery a specific name. So this is actually pretty interesting because this is going to be the name of the folder. And so I'm going to make it very simple and just call it gallery for the moment. And if you've got multiple galleries, you can obviously put the different gallery names in. But I'm going to call it um, gallery. And then where do you want to put it? Now, um, we can save this directly into our root folder by simply clicking on Browse and locating our root folder. And um, in terms of gallery, I'm going to put our gallery inside our images folder. And so I simply locate where I want to put the gallery and click Open. And so now it has the path listed to the root folder on my desktop and the images folder within the root folder. And so um, once that's done, um, I'm ready to save. Now notice that it gives you the ability to upload directly. So if you weren't working with the rest of your site, you could just create a gallery and upload it to your um, uh, to your website or to your web directory using the built-in FTP server. So Bridge has its own little FTP client built in right here as well. But we're going to um, skip that part and just save it into our own root folder and let Dreamweaver do the job of uploading it. So we click Save and it created the gallery. So we click OK and now we're going to um, toggle on back, go back to Dreamweaver. And so we're back in Dreamweaver now. And this will be the first link that we've actually created um, in our, uh, on our website 
that's going to um, take us to a specific destination, um, and that's our web gallery. And to get to it, I'm going to double click on the CSS styles panel to close that. And now you see we have the file panel opened up here with all of our files um, and folders in it. And if we open up our images folder, you should see the gallery um, right here, the gallery folder that we just created, that was just created. And if you open that, click on the little down arrow and open that, inside there is actually an, another index.html that's being created by Bridge. And this is the home page of the gallery folder, um, which makes sense. Is uh, Bridge created a home page um, of its own inside the gallery. But what we want to do is we want to link from our gallery link on our home page to that home page so it opens up the gallery. So all we do, um, and there are actually there are three different ways um, at least to add links on your um, web page. The first would be to highlight the link and then go to the property inspector, click inside it, and actually type the path to um, the page you're looking for. So you'd have to type in, for first of all, images. So it goes to the images folder, and then forward slash, and then gallery, and then index.html. But this is a pretty risky way of, of, of doing it. It's very easy to make text typing mistakes doing that. So the second way is to simply locate to the right of the link field here in the property inspector, locate this folder, and then navigate to the gallery folder which is inside your images folder and locate the index.html page inside the gallery. And then notice that it gives you the URL here or the path and then click open and it will put the full address in there as well. The third way of doing it is to use this um, point to file tool in Dreamweaver that is really pretty cool tool um, because you can actually click and drag and drag this to the specific file that you want to link to and if I drop that it is going to pop in the correct link and just to test make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to be doing I'm going to delete the um, text inside the link area and do that again. Click on point to file and then choose the file I want to link to and voila it populates the um, path to that file in there. And so now um, to preview it in the browser we simply, you can see it's created a hyperlink here, um, we simply go up to the preview pull down menu at the top of the Dreamweaver page and that's the picture of the um, the earth here, the globe, um, and you click on that and then choose the browser that you want to preview it in. Um, notice that there is an edit browser list here as well, I haven't talked about that yet, but um, you can add um, or delete browsers in your list. I have Chrome, Firefox, Safari um, and Browser Lab but I'm going to choose Safari to preview it in. It asks if I want to save the page and I say yes. Um, some other files have been modified. Do you want to save them now? Yes. And so there is my web page um, and I click on the link and it launches my gallery and there's my gallery. Um, it's working fine. And not only that, but if I go up to the link here, home page, if I click on that, um, well, it's not taking me home, but it will once I upload to the server um, and um, it'll work fine once you've uploaded this to the server. Remember, we're just previewing it right now. Um, and so the file isn't actually um, uh, linking to it and running um, in, on the, uh, in the browser window. Uh, but that will work once it's been uploaded. 
So you can um, try out your gallery and hopefully it all works well. And that's one way of creating um, a gallery in your website.